Hey, this is Lance and Carl from Childlike Empress, and you're watching Local Band Smokeout. Well, to party with uh, Shadow the Throne. Yeah, hell yeah. Woo. In the building. Everyone's so excited. For those that may not know you gentlemen, handsome lads, can you do me a favor and let me know whereabouts in the world you are right now? Introduce yourself, plug and promote anything and everything. Oh man, so we're both in the Southeast. Daniel's in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm in Charleston, South Carolina. Um, we make we make heavy metal music, new metal focus. We have some, some mellow death focus in there. And, uh, and we make music for an angry generation. How about that? <laughs> I love it. Uh, there's not a bad song I've heard from you guys yet, just to be honest. Every single song. Really? That's that's a big boon. I appreciate that. <laughs> Dan, anything you want to plug before we dive in? Yeah, be on the lookout for two EPs coming in the next few months. Can we elaborate what? any any timetable of expectance for the first, or are we talking like, bam, bam, they're both just dropping like that? About three to five months between the two. The first one is going to be probably mid-July. Mm -hmm. um, and then the second one will be late October. Late October, That's November. Uh, so I ideally want to get it around near Halloween because the second one is darker. And we had an LP, and we decided it's a better strategy to break it up into two EPs because of the different vibes. Yep. Oh, so they're different. They're different vibes, like different from what we've heard from you guys so far as far as one of them? The stuff you're going to get in the second one is a lot darker. Okay. Yeah. Hell yeah. My uh, my co-host today is uh, is my boy Tommy out of Detroit. He's in a band called Detroit Voodoo. Uh, Tommy, yeah. I know you were able to to kind of jam some of their stuff earlier. What, what is yeah. the question you have for either Chris or Dan? Uh, well, one, I, I, I was going to go off like the beaten path. Just like what's like a, like a favorite show memory? Like your favorite show either you guys have played or i know since you guys are in separate locations then mm -hmm. writing um maybe then like a writing moment like like your favorite writing moment like a, a song that came together or uh you know kind of an idea that like one of you had that the other one kind of finalized i don't know maybe sometimes you, you take like an old idea and have it come up i don't know what uh either, either way whether it's a, a show memory or like something that came up in the recording process writing process Mm, okay that's a good one I think for me, we had a song called Made It. We 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 made this song okay. all the way through and and it had a really nice story to it. It was a story uh essentially about uh a uh a very rich businessman uh going to hell and having to pay off his sins, neglecting his family and uh putting people out of work and things like that. Uh and I love the vocals of the song. And I love the instrumental of the song. In theory, nothing could go wrong. But then we started putting the two together and we got increasingly more upset at it. And eventually me and Daniel were just like, fuck it, we're, we're done with this song. <laughs> On to the next. And then three months later, Daniel's like, hey man, I got something. And he has completely changed the instrumental, completely reworked where the vocal placement is. And it's an amazing song. And we put it up the date in the next day. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, I love that. Yeah, see, that's awesome. Yeah. Can we can we talk about how being while living apart, like how did you guys meet and decide to form Shadow of the Throne? And how did you come to that band name? And was there any like terrible almost picked this as the band name instead of Shadow of the Throne? Multi question. I got this one. I got this one. Go ahead. Dan. Um so I had my own project and Chris had his own project. And we met through a streamer uh, doing the review shows that, you know, like this one. And I saw something in his music. He saw something in my music. And I have more of a singy kind of raspy, almost thrashy voice. And he's got a very brutal core voice. And 
I was starting to write stuff that was more in line with the core stuff where my voice just would not work for it as the lead vocal. But I heard what he was doing and I said, I bet he would work out for what we're doing. And we took ideas from both projects, concepts, not the actual songs, and started writing new stuff with those elements together. Um, and I had something put together as our first test run, which is Dark in Our Eyes. That instrumental was pretty much 90% done. And then we plugged in the vibes from his vocals, him writing the vocal lines, and then adding a new bridge section, things like that to make it cohesive. And it ended up working. And we were like, well, we should keep doing this. Yep. Nice. So, yeah, it worked out pretty good. Yeah, it slapped. It's all the records slap really. Uh, I, like I said, I think I think me and Tommy both agree that Meltdown could be our favorites. I think of. Uh, I, you probably saw me posting it up in my story earlier today. I mean, it I slaps. Oh, I would love that. It yeah, totally it's, slaps. Actually, it's a great song. I mean, I don't know if it's. You, I guess I, my other question was going to be, what's your favorite of your songs? Personally, uh, I mean, you both probably might have different ones, but like, what's I mean, I guess maybe what draws you to it, too, you know, like, is it a writing thing? Is it the sound? Is it whatever? I think for me, my favorite song is one that is not released yet. Um, Isn't that always um, how it feels? Yeah, that that is always how it feels. Like, I, 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 yeah, all right. Agreed. So I'm not alone. The new shiny toy. I mean, more so it's just a shiny toy. The song has a has a very emotional place in my heart but, and, but and i, I feel love like we them. get more comfortable over time that's part yeah. of it too you know so like yeah. then you start to write those things that just mean more to you as time goes on yeah if it's out of the songs that have released i think my favorite is also meltdown i yeah. think it's got i think it's got a good mixture of all the things we can do it's got a, a great mastering and mixing but that's given when daniel yeah, is it, doing it does it. sound great yeah <laughs> And Dan, it's got a that? nice variety to it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh my Peter's God. On. Yo, fantastic job on that. Thanks, That's man. That's a great mix. The funny thing is, is I've remixed everything for the new EPs, and they sound better. Oh, wow. Well, well fantastic job. Thank you. Is does, uh, does Ruined or Crown have any involvement whatsoever as far as helping out with, with certain situations for Shadow? Or is this, is this kind of like a, this is just us thing, they're not really involved, though they support us? Ruined was 100% me. Yeah, so solo Crown act. 100% Okay, we were I did solo. none of them, sorry. No, yeah, no, no, no worries. Like, so the answer is yes. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Yes. Yeah, we both uh, we both do that. And um, it's been not focusing on the old projects and anything that we come up with. We determine whether or not it's going to make it into this project. Um, and then anything else gets left on the cutting floor. Like we have one that we're really excited about that we're we're thrown to the cutting floor and it might be our best song. It It might just be. I just don't think we're ready for that song yet. It's a different vibe. It need, yeah, it's it doesn't fit with the audience. Maybe the, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the audience just isn't ready for it yet. It's okay. Uh, it's more melodic than what we do. You, 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 you can warm them up to it. A couple teasers here and there. They'll get it. They'll it's get coming. It. It's coming. You gotta you gotta yeah. you know just wet them up, juice them up a little bit. And yeah, then, and then yeah, get there. exactly. You, get, you gotta <laughs> grease it in a little bit. Yeah. A couple. Just couple give them the just give them the IG, tip. A couple. Exactly. Nice. <laughs> Stories, you know, just sneak that shit somewhere. Did you did you boys bring any any hot sauce today? I've got some um, uh, some one D weak ass sauce. That's okay. But plenty of it. If it's defined as hot sauce, Yo, it totally I, I, works. I, I had to get some because I all I had was expired Texas Pete. And I was like, that's not gonna work, yo. <laughs> so I got so the I had, Texas Pete. I got, I got fresh hot sauce. Well, to do no, the I trivia, don't got any hot sauce. just, Only just thing I know had in we're my fridge probably going to end up drinking it. So. Sriracha works. <laughs> Sriracha works. So, but the cool thing is, you have somewhat of an advantage over me and Tommy. Tommy, we we were on a we're on a team now at this point. Um, right. So, Chris and Dan, I need to know if you guys could agree on a movie or a TV show. You can only pick one or the other. What would you pick? That it's impossible that I stump you. 
Oh. Think about it for a second. As we jam meltdown. Oh god. Yeah. Let's do it. And if you guys are watching, please support them. Go on Spotify. Hit the follow button. Did you fellas think of a uh, movie or TV show? Uh, I know what Daniel wants to say, and I know a little bit about it, but not as much. Do, do you want us to collectively agree on one? Maybe I can go one. You both can select once. We'll do two questions. Oh, there you so, go. So okay. Dan, we'll, okay. Twice as many times we can fail. Think this one over. <laughs> this is true. Oh, He's tricking God. us. He's Does that tricking. Mean they have to drink twice as much hot sauce to catch up. I'm gonna try. I'm trying. Hey, we're gonna give him more. All right, all right. We're gonna aim for content. If we drink it twice as much hot sauce, so be it. Um, Excellent. All right. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say Lord of the Rings. Oh. Dan, what would you say? Because you you seem like you've not seen Lord of the Rings very many times. No, I've seen it plenty of times. I'm a nerd like him. We just sound like fucking nerds. Uh, Game of Thrones. <laughs> what, hey, I what, <laughs> what, what would you have picked instead? Game of Thrones. Like, I mean, yeah. literally, we're just nerding it out. Okay. I need, uh, Tommy, I need a little bit of time to look, first look up Lord of the Rings trivia. If you could uh, throw a oh, question Lord in there. Of the Rings. Do you have? Do, is there a question, Tommy, that you could ask while for I look that, up? Yeah, for sure. So, um, what's the biggest challenge you guys have found working remotely, as 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 being separated and, and working in from multiple locations, maybe even coming from different vans? What's the biggest challenge you guys coming together? You think you face now? unified unified vision. So. We both come from different musical backgrounds. I come for, from a more mellow death, death metal, and deathcore background. He comes from a more new metal, deathcore background, which you would think is very similar. He's also in a lot of experimental music. You know, all genres they they seem so close, but then you jam with somebody that's a, like a you know a very specific player, and all of a sudden the rule it's just. <laughs> All, all the all, all the holds are off, man. It's just all of a sudden you guys got to really understand each other, or you guys find out where you don't jive. You know. Mm -hmm. Well, it's like, you know, in Mellow Death, you put melody inside of heavy wrist, and then the first reaction is going to be, but that makes it less heavy. Right. For deathcore, you don't have right. that. It's like, but it also gives it more musical movement, totally. and it's just yeah. like those little things trying to reconcile them we're really good at doing it but the, i think that's the biggest challenge and then um creatively composing something that's not one-sided um right. i think we've done a good job of that but it is a challenge um For sure. and with two people uh we plan on expanding this to a full band it's going to get more complex fortunately i have experience in that and so does he we've all, both been in bands do you feel like the the music uh, leans on like any? I mean, I'm sure it, it feels kind of like a lot of both of your guys' contribution. And but you feel like any music you put out leans on one influence further than another, and that's like something you guys want to work on, including more of the other influences that you guys were both come from. Or absolutely. Mm -hmm. I'm just, just just curious of like where like the music you have out compared to like what you guys want to put out going like the other influences that we have what are we not currently featuring you know I mean there's a I lot think, that's left on the table yeah I think for for both of us we both we both have a desire to include more melodic elements especially more melodic big open choruses um, personally for me I have done only screaming for a long time singing is something new to me um and so we're having to work our way up to that and um we definitely want to include more melodic elements to bring forth more contrast like that's the whole reason why a lot of different bands have both completely clean singing um quiet moments and extremely loud moments like bad omens does we reference bad omens a ton in our private conversations for that reason um and we want to be able to have that bright contrast, and that's the best way to do it. I like without it. sounding like bad omens. True. <laughs> no without without sounding like them the whole time. 
I think I think you pull it off. But I don't know if you're gonna pull off this trivia. All right, let's go. In Lord of the Rings, specifically the Fellowship of the Ring, what is the name of the eagle that rescues Gandalf from imprisonment? That's a hard one. Wydor? Wydor? Repeat it. I, I repeat it. King of the Eagles. I, I, swear, I swear that's the name. Repeat it one more yeah. time. Wydor? Something like that. It's very close to that. It's like Idor something King of Eagles. King of Eagles. That's what I'm saying. Idor with an I. Yeah. That's yeah. not correct. <laughs> what is it? Enjoy the hot sauce for my friends. It is Gua Guai here. G W G W A I H I R. Guai here. Twice as much, bro. Twice as much. <laughs> I'll admit, I I love Lord of the Rings. I didn't know that one though. So, wow. I'll, uh, we'll do it with you, boys. Woo! It's a little zip. Let's jam a little more meltdown. Hold. It's got a little, Honestly, little sting agreed. to it. A little sting to it, doesn't it? No sting. My, it just tastes like chunky. vinegar. Oh, just, well, we've had it do mine that, was, too. My, mine had a good sip, and it was a little thick, too, you know? You know? Yeah. Oh, it had some girth. <laughs> what, Dan, who did you say that your that your trivia topic was? I'm sorry. Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. That's right. Okay. I think God, I'm, I, I so think I'm 100 successful. Why, why, dear? Why why here? Not why here. Why here? I said well, yeah. Why dear? That's not both had one. <laughs> is there is there any or have you guys considered ever having a feature for either one of the EPs, like a just one time? Big name on on a track just for numbers reasons, I guess. I wish a lot of people. I mean, most I, everyone I is bigger than us. <laughs> but I mean, I mean, like, have you like had this conversation? Like, you considered you've considered having like featuring so and so from X Band. I don't think we've we've got the ego yet to to to, to go like, oh yeah, we could get this person. I I yeah. wish that it, the company that that I used to work with with uh, Ryan from a uh, Ryan Tucker from Fit for a King. Um, he had a company called uh, Featured X. I don't know if you guys knew about it. Yeah, it yeah. Was around for. I'm sure somebody's got to be familiar. It's with still it. around, like, isn't it? They're doing a revamp. Okay. So it's they're right now. It's it's offline. If you go to the website, it's offline. But they're they're slowly doing because they've been on tour. So it's been like a lot of different things, but. I did work with them for a while, and the last artist they announced like a year or so ago was Kellen Quinn. And I'm—I I don't know what his price was, but basically anyone could just go on, and they have their prices listed. I know—I know BG knows kind of about it, but I—I'm—I I'm, well, was on there until they kind of did the revamp. But I'm sure that'll come up, and another place will do it again. So That's there is there is a rival already. Cool. Uh, there's a number that jam card there's the, the, the spotify for artists even for example you can go through there's a lot of things it's yeah. worth considering PG, Imagine else Kellen you Quinn on a shadow I, of the throne song i haven't kept tabs because actually i was working with ryan's company so i didn't really need to keep tabs on another company but they turned over to a, a company called fan pass now which is like slowly becoming uh that i guess artist republic like a number of other new companies, but mm -hmm. I don't know. Is, it, it, that's part of their revamp. Is there is there talks of forming the full band for live show reasons at a point? Absolutely. Yep. If uh, anyone is interested, hit us up on Instagram. We're actively We're looking looking. for drummers, bassists, and another guitarist. I was gonna say, what would be the show as of right now? Let's just say you guys got asked for a show tomorrow. What would what would you guys have to show up with? Uh, we wouldn't show up because we have. We're still working on the, the EP. I'm not showing up with just a guitar. Like I can't. I can't play drums, bass, drums, bass, guitar, doing backup vocals, playing leads. Nah, like I need the full thing. That's what I've done in the past. Um, I get you. Are you asking like what would our lineup be if we could play right now? I mean, I was just saying like like if if. Let's just say some big festival, or even doesn't have to be a big festival, or it's a good enough show, local enough venue, or a worth it show, right? 
but mm-hmm. like you're like oh it's only the two of us or or like we could we could grab one guy real quick who you know what what would we do what what's our what's our quick go to we're going to play the bass we're going to grab a drummer you know drummer. like like 100% we could grab a drummer we grab a, we we just play to a bass track and play to the samples and just call it a day like I've seen it done I've, before it's possible so if a bucket list fans show came up deal with 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 a guitar player, a drummer, and a singer who plays no other instrument, and it's a full band show, incredible. Like, <laughs> if we had a bucket no? list offer, like, you know, someone huge like Slipknot said, which is ridiculous to even think about. But if they said, "Hey, we want you to play this show with us," uh, I'd hire a drummer. There'd be no doubt about it. For like, sure. that that would happen, and we'd have Did to hire back a whole band. Or would like, you just start with the drummer and just go, I just need you to be tight with a click. If it was the Slipknot level show, because there's money behind that, of course I'd hire the whole band. Hopefully yeah. we have enough lead time where they'd learn everything. And we'd be reasonable with what kind of set list Let, we let's had. Let's just say like Decent Festival came up, but like... You guys, you have enough time to... I mean, it's, say it's in the next six months, or, or like it's within by the end of the year. Would you seek out a drummer and just try to make him play the tracks? Or what would Absolutely. You if it yeah. was a festival and it was big enough, the exposure was worth it, even if we took a loss on it. I think yeah. that that'd be worth the, worth the move of paying a drummer, paying a bassist, paying another guitarist, and then all you the go synth. Full band still. Yeah. You're still trying to find as many people as you could. Good. Go for it. But first impressions are everything, and it'd be our first yeah. big show. No, 100%. So it'd be worth the money and. Uh, since it's acceptable to have his backing tracks, so right. we do that. There's rules. There's rules to these levels. Yeah, yeah. cool. Those are if it's a local show, uh, I probably turn it down. Yeah. If it was, <laughs> I get that. Just because of first impressions. But if it was a big local show, like I don't know, In Flames was coming through. That I almost just... got to play with In Flames, but they couldn't get in the country because of their visas. Because it was because it was, it was pandemic, yeah. Pa- uh, Blue Ridge twenty twenty one. They couldn't get in because of the of COVID. That's crazy. One of my old bands we played within Bro, Flames. I, I would have dropped one of us anything Cyrus. to see them. It was it was cool. I love In Flames so much. I get, yeah. I get... Same here. That's my side of the influences. The I, In I, I see side. it. I see it. Fellas, we only have time for a couple more, but I do want to stump you one more time or attempt it on some Game of Thrones trivia. So, Dan, this one's really for you. At Hoster Tully's funeral, who actually shoots the burning arrow that hits the mark? Do you want the name or the character generally? Like, it's the uncle. I want the name of uh, the, the character. Blackfish. The blackfish. There. The who? The blackfish. It doesn't does not that say anything nickname. like that. That is his nickname. What is his name in the show? Not as the Blackfish. Uh-oh. Are you serious? It Uh-oh. just it doesn't say anything along the lines of that. So I don't know if you're lying to me or telling me the truth. I don't know. Hey, if I had to know to know that vowel <laughs> combination of an eagle's name, I think this. Is... Um, Brendan told no. Brendan's her brother, the one that died. Uh, Austin. Three. <laughs> so blackfish. Look up the blackfish. Two. You'll know for fucking fact. One. Yeah, it's. I'm. I'm drinking. In fact, <laughs> it is Brendan Tully. Oh, give me a hell yeah. yeah! You had it. You. You had it. It says Edmer Tully fires a bunch of arrows, but none of them hit. So then Brendan Tully takes over in, in as his brother's last rite, setting the floating man afire. And his nickname's the Blackfish. Okay, we'll give it to you. Uh, I, I know. <laughs> After some debate in chat, which other people are saying, you're a moron, it is the Blackfish talking to me. So it says he who spins it gets to ne- pick the next song. Fellas, before we before we let you go, a couple of final questions, but one of them being, is there a local artist that we may not know? I know, Dan, you're in here all the time, but maybe, Chris, is there an artist that, that we can jam one time that uh, just may, we've never heard of them before? 
Just a cool local uh, band. Let's see. Daniel, you might have to help me on this because I'm a mainstream sellout. Um, you love Tala. I do love Tala. Oh, play me some Tala. It's like Tala. Too, um, here, give me, give me Shaken Not Stirred by Tala. Tala, I'd say, is a little bit bigger than a local band, but I'll accept it. Okay. Hmm. This guy is my vocal hero. I love this guy. Hell yeah. How did it feel to win uh, the second term of the champions being a relatively new act going up against such such heavy hitters? Uh, I was losing it. I like I I was so excited. I ran around my apartment like a five year old. <laughs> that is awesome. I just scared the dog. <laughs> <laughs> what kind it of dog do you have? I've got I've got a um, miniature pincher. I wonder if I can get him to come. No, the doors are closed. He won't. <laughs> it felt cool to have all our friends show up. Yeah. Uh, the spirit of the show to come support. And uh, they're the sole reason we won. I'm sure there were people who liked the music who voted for us too, but the friends and fans came out in force. Shows you're doing something right, fellas. Well, we uh, we look forward to not only uh, just EP1, but EP2. Yeah. Possibly before the year is over, correct? Or, or early into the next year for the second one, maybe? Everything goes yeah. right. That is awesome. Hell yeah. yeah. I wish you guys the best on... And if there's any way we can help as far as uh, finding some band members, just message me on the side. Tommy might be able to help as yeah, well. Yeah, 100%, man. Uh... And, We'll yeah, see what we can yeah, do to, yeah, to help on that department to so you guys yeah, are sort of gigging. And, uh, but Thanks, yeah, guys. you guys rule, man. Yeah. Just keep doing yeah, your thing. Yeah, hit me up later. I have some other things I would love to see you guys like submit some of your music around as well. You know, just that yeah, sounds cool. of course. Just send yeah, just hit us up on Instagram. Yeah, 100%. All right. Sweet. Hell yeah. Thanks, guys. It's our pleasure, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. Shadow of the Throne! Give me a hell yeah. Woo! Hi, I'm sorry. Welcome to the local band Smokeout.